It's time to get cooking with the Culinary Arts Program. Hi and welcome to Brookdale Newsmakers, your source of what's happening in and around our campus. I'm Tim Kettlefamil and joining me today is Michelle Zuppi, Associate Professor and Department Chair of the Culinary Arts Center. Thanks for joining us today, Michelle. Hi, how are you? What can you tell us about this amazing culinary education center? There's a, it's very, very broad and there's a lot of exciting things about it. Well, it's culinary arts program. We have three uh, degrees. We have a culinary associate degree, which is a two-year program. We have a pastry certificate and we have a culinary certificate, which are each one year. Most students do the culinary AAS, which is the two-year. And then um, our pastry program is also very popular and a lot of students do both. Now you had said that you, your AAA degree is your most popular. Why do you think that is so popular? Well, it's a two-year degree. It's an associate degree. It's transferable to four-year colleges. And um, most students, in to, be, to become a chef, you need the two-year culinary degree from an accredited school. Okay, interesting. Now the Culinary Education Center was also uh, received and was certified for an award uh, from the American Culinary Federation. Yes. It was pretty exciting, right? It was really exciting. We worked really hard to receive the accreditation. Um, the American Culinary Federation is the highest credentialing agency in the country for culinary programs and they certify that you are, your curriculum, your student services, and your faculty are at the highest level. We prepared for over three years to get this accreditation, and we received our official word this past January, and all of our programs were accredited, culinary and pastry, and it was a really big, it's a, it's a big deal, and we're very proud of it. Now, how long does that certification last? Right now, it's for five years. That's the most you can get the first time you apply. And then they come and recertify you every five years. Hopefully, next time we'll get seven years if we do well. <laughs> well, hopefully, let's quick keep <laughs> our fingers crossed. Now, what do you teach your students at the Education Center? I know that you have a lot of different things that you teach them. Right. There's a lot of different classes. Me, personally, I teach the nutrition classes, the international classes, and then sometimes introduction to culinary arts. But we all teach, we vary what we teach. But um, you want to hear about my, some of my classes? Absolutely, sure. Nutrition class, um, I'm running them right now. It's very important for chefs to know about nutrition, to know how to cook healthy food besides do all the other classical cuisines. So they learn how to make menu items for restaurants that are lower in fat, that are lower in salt, that are a little more appealing to someone who's looking for a little healthier food and they learn how to, to market them as well mm -hmm. so people be interested in eating that. Um, they also learn how to alter food as far as accommodate different diets, gluten-free, uh, celiac, so we have to make sure we can do that, vegan, and then we look at food allergies as well. So they learn when they go out into the industry, they're familiar with those diets and they can make food to accommodate those patrons. And what do you think is the, it's interesting to say about the food allergies because I have two younger siblings who are allergic to peanuts and nuts very right. severely. So uh, for those chefs to be trained is very important right. nowadays. What do you enjoy most about training your students as overall? I think um, to see them grow when they first come in and they don't know how to use a knife and you teach them how to cut an onion and then by the time they leave they make these amazing dishes and they're so talented and they just know so much about food and they have so much to offer when they go out into the industry it's really rewarding to watch that that process occur and of course they're better trained at that point then and oh. you can see them go is it, is it did you ever get emotional of course we have our ceremony every uh, may where we give them medals and they get awards our own culinary ceremony besides graduation and t i'm with them so much for two years because our classes are long we're together monday through thursday you know six seven hours a day and then when they leave i feel like you know, I'm seeing my little ducklings go off into the world. <laughs> <laughs> well, definitely, it's, it's exciting, and we wish you the best of luck with the Education Center. Thanks so much for stopping by today. Thank you. All right, that's going to do it for our, here on Brookdale Newsmakers. Thanks so much for joining us today. See you next time.